it would mean so much to him. He wouldn't believe it. The, all the people that care that come together, and I really think it's because of the kind of person that he was. On a rainy night in Corning, friends crowd a busy roadway to remember Greg Riff, the man killed in a terrible motorcycle, motorcycle accident on Friday. After losing their friend, they're coming together not just to remember Greg, but help his family work through tragedy. Good evening, everyone. I'm J.B. Buno. And I'm Daryl Kirkland Morgan. Thanks for joining us here on the Late Edition in High Definition. Drivers who have passed through the intersection next to exit 47 off I-86 in Corning have likely seen a memorial of candles, flowers, and pictures next to the roadway. Well, the memorial is for Greg Riff, who was killed in the middle of that intersection on Friday. Tonight, the memorial grew not just by the number of mementos, but the number of memories, as well as dozens of friends gathered to remember times they spent with Greg and to help his family cope with their loss. On a dreary night, more than 50 people huddled close on a busy roadway, all of them with one thing in common. 21-year-old Greg Riff of Lindley, killed in a motorcycle accident last week, touched their lives in some way. We were inseparable. You couldn't, it, there wasn't Greg without me. So it was, it's hard, it's hard. He'd do anything for any of his friends, any of his family. He had a, he had a big heart, and um, I know this town's going to miss him a lot. Friends say Greg lived his life with passion for his family, his friends, and his motorcycle. He rode all the time, having fun, living on the edge, but also always riding with a respect for safety. He was a daredevil. I always was behind Scotty and him, watching them rip wheelies. I mean, they loved it. He was kind of a free spirit. He was a little bit of a daredevil sometimes, but in the end, I think he knew he looked out for safety in the end, though. He had, a, he had a big respect for safety. I mean, he would wheelie and stuff like that, all in good fun and, you know, a safe manner. You know, nothing crazy. He, he would always respect the road. For Greg's friends who also ride, the tragedy puts the importance of safety into greater focus. It's all about safety now, and we all realize that now when we ride, we really ride safe. Everyone, for the most part, throws on full gear, makes sure that, that you know, they're, safe, they're equipped. Greg is gone, but his family is still coping with the loss. That's why friends are selling t-shirts and organizing a fundraiser for this Saturday to help pay for Greg's funeral going through a lot right now so I just want to help help ease their pain you know we got a lot of memories with Greg and it's the least we could do for him I mean, he touched a lot of people in a lot of different ways and I don't think he realized that and I, I I hope he's looking down and I hope he sees it I really do that's what I hope the most the fundraiser for Greg's family and the funeral will be this Saturday at Craig Park in Painted Post at noon. There will be a raffle and a football game in Greg's memory. Friends are encouraging the community to attend. Now, despite severe injuries, the man riding his bike with Greg that night, 41-year-old Scott Cornish of Corning, is in stable condition at Robert Packer Hospital. He is expected to make a full recovery.